our, our sponsor for Wild Rivers Nebraska. It's called Urban Natural America. I'm going to say that word again. Every time I say it, it becomes more powerful, believe it or not. Urban Natural America, because it does apply not just to the state of Nebraska, but really our entire continent, our entire country. And let me share with you what this really means. This is a very interesting word. Uh, I created the word 20 years ago. I remember the moment I wrote it on a, on a whiteboard in 2002. Hmm. That's a fact. And what's interesting about it to people, are all, we're, we're all very interested in what happens when opposites, this is the key idea, opposites come together. What happens? In the past, not good things, but now, at least for a portion of, uh, of our population, of our generation, uh, people are fascinated by, let's get that person and this person. They're very different from us culturally, race-wise, whatever it is. Let's get them at the table. This is the source, by the way, of the diversity uh, movement, which is huge in corporate America today. I'm sure you know that. But anyway, so urban naturalism applies, it describes people, who bring rural and urban influences into their life. Mm -hmm. And it's a fascinating interior design motif. It applies to architecture. And this is a big, big, big part of economic development going forward. People are looking for a new style, kind of a something contemporary. Urban natural utilizes wood. And let's talk about the outside of the building now, downtown, wood and metal over here, wood and tin, wood and glass, organic and synthetic, all right? And it's a fascinating style, and people love it. And you're seeing it also in interior design, as I mentioned before. Well, you have industrial floors, very cement and kind of urban, but then you'll have primal raw wood on the walls. People love this. It tends to stimulate, revoke, I'll call them good vibes, positive feelings, and so on. And I've got some evidence or proof about that particular thing. So if you say, you know, we've got a, we've got a great city here. Let's get some people in here. Let's, let's, good vibes, we want to project good vibes. If you feel that way, you have to buy in to the urban natural design format, uh, style, concept, and so on. So look it up, urbannaturalamerica.com, U-R-B-A-N-A-T-U-R-A-L, america.com. And I think you're going to find a very interesting way to redesign, reimagine your city, the kinds of people you want in your city with eclectic design. You know, I'm going to finish up by telling you this. A gentleman named Ebenezer Howard in 1928 now came from Britain all the way to Nebraska in 1928. And he died that particular year, by the way. But he said before uh, he passed away, he said, only when we can combine um, I want to say this correctly, town and country, town with country, urban and rural, obviously, town with, only when we can combine those will we be capable of reaching our highest collective potential. This is a fascinating comment coming from a municipal planner in 1928, and it's been woven into the fabric of Nebraska. You're going to see it all over the country. It's going to be a book. It's going to be a workbook. Many professions are going, we want to be more urban natural, and we want some urban natural people right here in this, in this office right now. So there you go. Hook onto this word, and I guarantee you, you're going to feel great about it. It attracts wellness, it attracts health, it attracts sustainability. It's the defining word in our postmodern culture today.